Toby, thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. How are you doing, family? I'm doing all right, man. I'm super excited to just being able to chat with you today. And also, I know a lot of our all-stars or a couple of our all-stars that are in this conversation with us as well will be excited too. Um, but to kick things off, um, I wanted to kind of start uh, with a bit of the beginning of your story. And uh, I know prior to becoming an artist, um, you had dreams of becoming a pro football player. Um, what is it about music that, ca that really captured your attention? Well, I'll be honest, uh, I always loved music. Like, mm. All throughout my life, I've always jammed all types of genres, all types of music, uh, but I never really saw myself making music. It wasn't until I got uh, connected with uh, Eric Thomas and uh, CJ, who like, they run like the motivational speaking game, like the top Amer African American motivational speakers in the world. Uh, that they just like encouraged me to do it because they felt like I had the talent. So I just literally took the skill set that I developed while playing football and just applied it to music and the love I already had for music, hmm. uh, and just started doing my thing. Well, I I could tell you were so happy that you decided to go on this journey because uh, you've been dropping some amazing um, music, uh, especially throughout COVID. So we really appreciate you. Um, also, I think you've done an amazing job in, in the personal brand you've built around making purpose popular, right? Like you even mentioned that in your Instagram bio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What does purpose mean to you? I think purpose is... Uh literally like what defines a, a, a person's life. I mm. feel like it gives you ultimate, uh, the ultimate sense of direction, clarity, and uh, ultimately it helps you live the most fulfilled life you could possibly live. I feel like the, the most important thing you can do is find out specifically why mm. you're here and do exactly what it is that you are uh, supposed to be doing. Yeah, that resonates with me a lot. I, I just think especially at this time, we need to be way more intentional about what we're doing. And I think you're a great example of that, uh, especially in, you know, in your viral hit, I need you to, you rapped about Breonna Taylor, right? And you called for the arrest of the officers responsible for her death. Um, would you describe that as an example when you talk about making purpose popular? Is that what you, your vision would have imagined? I'll be honest with you. Not so much so uh, making purpose popular as it is to just, bro, just, I probably, and this is gonna sound, for lack of like uh, better terms, this is just lamest terms, just do what's right. Mm. <laughs> like, bro, it's, it's not even that deep. I don't even, I'm not even trying to be any type of like pseudo deep or anything like that. Just do what's right. <laughs> what happened yeah. was wrong, like, yep. bring justice to my girl, bring justice to her, like, right. give her family justice, like, don't do it. That's evil mm, yeah. to say the least. That's that's very very evil yeah. to, to for it to be for me to even have to make a song like that. Mm. It's, it's terrible, mm. and for it to still not be brought to justice is even more horrible. Right, the atrocity that's going on in this nation, and you know what I'm saying. That, that that's enough said about that. Yeah, well, we definitely appreciate you using using your platform and using your art. To, to highlight that, um, and I agree with you, we shouldn't have to say it, but sometimes we, we definitely need voices like yours to, to, to lead that conversation. Uh, in addition, you know, kids around the world want to support causes they believe in and yeah. help drive progress forward. Uh, do you have any advice on how to connect individual creative passions to drive purpose? Oh man, I would just say before you get started doing uh, whatever it is that you're doing, just know exactly who you are and what your purpose is, then you can better uh, fulfill that and do what it is that you're designed to do, mm. if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that. Uh, well, all right, I'm going to transition it over and bring in a couple of our community members. So our first question is actually going to come in from Marcelo in Brazil. Marcelo, Marcelo, let's get you to turn on that camera and introduce yourself. Hi, 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 Toby, hi, Viva. <laughs> oh, I'm Marcelo from Brazil. I'm very excited to be here. First of all, I'm him first. The want to help your brothers killed by the state. And I can say who had Mariela Frank, Maria Franco killed. And in I need you to you bring an objective message uh, about the murder of young Brona Taylor which broke uh, the me of her reflection of the, uh, her creative process. 
Just like in other songs, you always evoke the name of the artist, activist, and not black symbols in the world. And how do is the black community affect of your upbringing? And what is your connection of the activism to do your work? How does the black community affect what I do and what my upbringing? And then how does, what, what was the second part? Oh. And then how, how does it connect back to your work? Yeah, the activism uh, to your work. Yeah, so first, the, the black community uh, literally shaped me. Like, where I'm, I'm from mm. Southwest A.D., Texas. It's a little, it's on the southwest side of Houston, Texas. Uh, and my upbringing, like, I grew up in a very, and, and I didn't know it, I grew up in a very, like, impoverished section of the city. We had, like, the highest prostitution rate where I grew up. Wow. And it was just, uh, it, it, was, it was like the the gift and the obstacle. I ain't gonna say the curse. It was the gift and the obstacle. Mm -hmm. so I had to grow up in like uh, like a, a struggling type situation, but it helped give me the, the right perspective for like what's really important in life. So mm -hmm. as I got to different places and I was able to achieve different things, it helped me understand like that the things ain't, ain't really what's important. It's about, mm -hmm giving back to somebody who comes from where I come from, who really don't have the perspective that I was able to gain from where I come from. So if I could help somebody make the mind shift, like make the mindset shift uh, quicker than I was able to do it, then that, that, that's really what's important to me as, uh, uh, as a person. And then the, the second part was how does the activism, what, what do you say? How does it connect back to your work? Yeah, how the connection with the activism and the Black Lives Matter and the movements of the Black people and your work? Yeah, well, I'm a firm believer in, in when we say Black Lives Matter, we're not talking about the organization. We're talking about our actual lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm a, I'm, All right. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in that. And I feel like, like, <sighs> I, I don't know how to say it. It's not even about black activism uh, uh, to me. It's about, bruh, you have a group of people in a nation that have been oppressed and have like, there have been disadvantages for, these, for this group of people for so long and people are acting like they don't see it or it don't exist. And mm -hmm. now it's being put on full blast and for the world to see and yeah. now you have to ask yourself why 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 are why is this group of people uh so discriminated against why why are all the disadvantages set for this group of people and then after you ask yourself then you have that you have to take a personal question and say what are you going to do about it not hmm. just me like everybody who's seen what's going on what are you going to do about it how are you going to participate in helping or not helping but choose a side hmm. yeah yeah Toby, thank you so much for, for that response. Thank you. Uh, thank Marcelo, you. thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Up next, we're gonna, bye -bye. We're gonna bring in Snow. <laughs> uh, Snow's gonna join us from South Africa. Snow, can we get you to go ahead and turn on your camera? All right, and introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Mpomofu Ging, also hey. known as Hey, <laughs> also known as Snow. Um, I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa, and I'm a content creator. Now, I feel like a lot of us in this community um, have felt like we grew up in a society where we weren't always embraced nor accepted or included, um, whether it be being black or being gay, transgender, having albinism like myself. And the list goes on, really. Um, my question to you, Toby, is that growing up, how were you able to embrace your identity and um, stay true to who you are? Uh, mm. That's a very good question. So I would say this. Growing up, especially, watch this, being first generation born in, uh, in America, mm. it's like you're not... Uh, you, they don't consider you black. Hmm. So for the longest, like growing up, I was African booty scratcher. I was I, I was trying to appease my uh, my little black American homies, and I like I would try to like do anything I could to fit in. But it wasn't until I realized like, yo, 
My name Tobechuku Dubem Wigwe. It means something. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I, it wasn't until I figured out, like, yo, my name means something. My homie DeAndre, my homeboy Derek, my homeboy, like they don't know what their names mean. Mm. They got names that was just passed on to them from like slave masters or their parents just being creative or something like that. But they don't really know what their names mean. I know where, where I come from. I know where what village we from. I know my mom is from Uturu. I know my dad is from Oka. I know I'm an Igbo boy. Like I know, yeah, I like and I and understanding like yo, you have an identity. Like yo, you know where you come from. That's a gift. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people here that don't understand where they come from. It, it allowed me to like really uh cherish who I like all aspects of who I am. Not just the fact that I'm a, 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 a full born Nigerian, but the fact that I have the, the fact that my parents was blessed enough to have me born here, that I can understand this culture as well and understand like, yo, to be honest, I'm like, I'm a bridge between the gap of this continent and uh, and my uh, my home continent, huh? Yeah. Damn, wow. That's, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope, <laughs> we love to hear that. <laughs> love it. Love to hear it. Thank Snow, you so thank you much. so much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Toby, love what you said about really just uh, owning your narrative and being being confident in who you are and, and what your story is. Um, our last question is actually going to come in from TJ in London. Uh, TJ, let's get you to turn on your camera and introduce yourself. What's good, uh, All Star family? It's a pleasure to be here. I'm TJ, um, and I'm a model. Uh, writer and director from London. First and foremost, Converse, thanks so much for having me. Bim and my G, uh, appreciate you. And um, a pleasure to meet you, Toby. I'm a real fan of your work. And look, I appreciate everything you're doing for the black community. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it. Obviously, um, you're someone who's really never been shy to use your talent um, and your platform to vocalize your political stance or your um, you know, fight for change. And so I just wanted to ask, like, why is it so important for young creative people to fuel their craft with important messages? Oh, man. Um, let me say this. For me, it's important because before I'm any of this like artistic stuff or creative stuff, I am a man who understands that my purpose is to be a conduit to the realization of purpose in other people's lives and whatever be mm -hmm. I'm in. So that's part of my, it's part of my purpose. It don't matter if I'm doing this, if I'm driving Uber, if I'm uh, uh, flying planes, it don't matter what I'm doing. Like this is what my purpose is and everything that I do is going to be centered and geared towards what, what's at the core of me. So for me, it's important because it's who I am. It might not be important for other people because other people get involved for uh, get involved with music for a, a, a plethora of different reasons. Some people want to be famous. Some people just want to express themselves. Some people, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, there's a whole bunch of different reasons. So I try not to hold everybody to my standard because why I, why I do this ain't why everybody else does it. Yeah, damn straight. I, I think that's exactly right. And it's great to hear that you've got those roots to your work. I'd just ask as an extension for those who potentially aren't as informed as you may have been as a, as a yeah. youth and as, as aware of your surroundings, the surroundings as a black youth like how can they then fuel and utilize any talent that they may have to put it towards a good purpose if they aren't as informed as say you or i or bima or members of this community i would just i would i would i would encourage them to just figure out who they are first and figure out uh hey figure out who you are and then man i think once you really truly know exactly who you are you really truly understand the meaning of life you understand that it don't got nothing to do with you yeah it's about how you can like yes. serve yes how you can do for or utilize what it is that whatever type of gift you got for other yeah. people so that they can you know what i'm saying benefit and uh just be better if yeah that makes, i ain't trying to be deep bro i'm just trying to be honest oh beautiful I, words man beautiful words and i appreciate okay. your time uh best of luck to all of y'all with the rest of the couple days um all stars you got some awesome stuff to look forward to love you guys Amazing. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you so bro. much, DJ. <laughs> uh, Toby, that was such an inspiring session. Uh, love so many of the gems that you just dropped. Uh, also, thank you so much to the All-Stars that shared your questions. Uh, we appreciate y'all.